Welcome back to The Legal Brief, the show where we crush the various legal myths and misinformation surrounding various areas of the gun world. I'm your host, Adam Kraut, and today we're talking about a topic there seems to be some confusion about, that being whether non-U.S. citizens can purchase or possess firearms and ammunition. Kinetic Development Group doesn't just make parts for the tactical or military guy. They make parts for everyone, whether you're a hunter, a competition shooter, or a standard supporter of the second, they have something for you. Kinetic Development Group. When you get it, it clicks. To learn more, go to kineticdg.com. If you didn't already know, I'm currently collecting signatures to be placed back on the ballot for the NRA Board of Directors in 2018. If you're a life member, an annual member of the past five years, or know someone who is, head on over to adamkraut.com to find out how to push the NRA forward. Now I'm gonna guess the majority of you watching are US citizens, so this doesn't pertain to you directly, but there are many people who live in our country who are not citizens. The question is, is it legal for them to purchase or possess firearms and ammunition? And I know some of you are gonna ask, this is in relation to those who are here legally since federal law says that it is unlawful for a person who is an alien that is not here legally to possess firearms and ammunition. There are a few ways an individual who is not a US citizen may find themselves in the United States legally. In order to come to the United States legally, a person typically has to be granted a visa. And I say typically because there is a visa waiver program. And no, I'm not talking about the credit card here. There are two different types of visas. There are immigrant visas, which are issued to individuals who are traveling to the United States to live here permanently, and non-immigrant visas, which are issued to individuals traveling to the United States on a temporary basis for things such as school, tourism, business, etc. I mention the visa waiver program specifically because ATF states that a non-immigrant alien admitted to the United States on that program may lawfully acquire or possess firearms and ammunition. You can find that information in the ATF FAQ in the description, as well as ATF ruling 2010-6, which discusses residency requirements which are necessary to acquire a firearm. The law states that it is unlawful for an alien who has been admitted to the United States under a non-immigrant visa to possess firearms and ammunition, with a few exceptions. These exceptions include, one, being admitted to the United States for lawful hunting or sporting purposes, or is in possession of a hunting license or permit lawfully issued in the United States, and that's the most common exception I've seen. Two, an official representative of a foreign government who is either accredited to the US or the government's mission to an international organization having its headquarters in the US or is en route to or from another country to which they are accredited. Three, an official of a foreign government or a distinguished foreign visitor who has been so designated by the Department of State. Four, a foreign law enforcement officer of a friendly foreign government entering the United States on official law enforcement business. Also, you can get a waiver by petitioning the Attorney General. It's a somewhat complex process, it involves the embassy or a consulate of the country, but it can be done. If a non-immigrant alien does not fit into any of those exceptions, was not admitted to the United States under a visa waiver program, or has not been issued a waiver specific to them, then they are prohibited from possessing firearms and ammunition. As for those who hold green cards or are permanent residents, they are not subject to these prohibitions or constraints. They may even legally purchase and possess NFA firearms. So as you've probably learned, it is possible for non-US citizens to purchase and possess guns. If you learned something new or found this informative, make sure you hit that like button. Do you know somebody who would benefit from this video? Be sure to share it with them. And if you haven't already subscribed, you better make that happen. And be sure to ring that bell so you don't miss an episode. Also check out my website, adamkraut.com. And as always, thanks for watching. The shirts worn in today's episode of The Legal Brief have been provided by Patriot Patch. Click the link in the description to learn more.